Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the Paradigm AI Smoke Woods and Irons from Callaway. Welcome into our Golf Central studios. I'm Kira K. Dixon, pleased to be alongside Jim Gallagher Jr. and Amanda Blumenhurst. Well, guys, Nellie Corda is looking for five in a row mm -hmm. with the Chevron Championship, so let's d dive right in and Just check go. out her highlights. Here's Nellie on the par four second, putting for birdie after a double bogey on the first. Yeah, maybe a little sign of nerves on the first hole, but how do you steady the nerves with a 30 footer for birdie and then you can it right in the middle? There you go, nice putt. Gets back to three under there. Double bogey didn't phase her at all. Now Nelly again on the par four and ninth for second from fairway bunker. It's rare when she does miss a fairway and uh, this is not an easy shot, but she made it look very easy indeed. Beautiful shot, would get herself within birdie range and really impressive as she's able to convert this from such kind of tricky spot in that bunker and she does. Closes the front with back-to-back -back birdies. Gets herself to five under. Now on the par five 13th, going for the green and two. Yeah, a little push fade here. Twirl the club. Takes advantage of her length off the tee. And a beautiful shot here to the par five. Forces it on up there. And two putts from there to birdie. Easy does it. Gets herself to six under on the 13th. She does get into a bit of trouble off the tee here on the par 4 14. Yeah, she did one of her rare misses uh, like on nine, but this one is going on the right side and she actually gets incredibly lucky due to all the spectators and help out there. They're able to locate her ball in that really thick grass and she uses every bit of her strength to punch out of that tall stuff, just get it somewhere safe where she would be able to then uh, at least try to scramble and save par. It's a beautiful wet shot in. And look at this from <laughs> kind of no man's land off the tee, manages to save par. Swirls it all the way around the cup and Nelly scrambles to stay at six under. Now wrapping up on the par five 18th, going for the green with her second. Yeah, just an errand here. If she does win the tournament, I'm gonna go back to 14. Could have been a bogey or a double there or worse. But she stayed steady, had a wonderful second shot in here at the par five, sets herself up for an eagle's attempt. Little cruise up here, nice little day out there today. This putt's a little slower than the players maybe envisioned. This has got a great line, but it just ran out of steam. And eventually she converts for birdie. Cards is 69 to get to seven under and take the outright lead. Again, I mentioned that double that she had on the first, bounced back with the birdie on the second. Three under 69 for Nellie Cordo. And after her round, she spoke with Amy Rogers. Nellie, a challenging start for the second straight day, but still managed to find your way to the top of the leaderboard. What was the key to turning the day around? Yeah, I started out with a double, so that was really fun. <laughs> but I bounced back with a birdie on the next hole, and I just told myself that there's more opportunities ahead. I mean, the golf course is playing tough, but if I'm driving it the way I'm driving it, I'll have shorter clubs in, and I can be a little bit more aggressive. To be able to laugh off a double bogey in a major championship, you're obviously in a great mental space. When did you kind of find this new mindset? When did this begin working for you? Has it just been more recently with your run of success, or where did this come from? Honestly, after Bradenton, those seven weeks off really helped. Got to spend some time with family and put the clubs away, and that really helped me because for the longest of times, I haven't had a break where, you know, I put the clubs away on my own. It was a forced break with injury. So um, being in a positive headspace and kind of feeling a little bit more rejuvenated felt really good. You had said yesterday your approach was sort of hit and pray when it came to the firmness. What was the approach today? It was a little softer, definitely, with the morning dew, so it was a tiny bit more aggressive, but the pins are tough out here, so they're, they've definitely tucked them a little bit more than yesterday, I would say, and if it gets baked out, I mean, the afternoon, just like it was yesterday, it just gets really firm and fast, so um, I was just a little bit more aggressive with it being in the morning. Where's your energy level at as you head into the weekend? It's good. I actually felt uh, better today than I did yesterday out there, so going to go grab a coffee and uh, chill. Yeah. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Grab one for me. I will. <laughs> Thanks for the time. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Well, from one coffee lover to another, in the other world number one, Scotty Scheffler on the par five fifth, his pitch shot from short of the green. Well, he didn't have too many cups of coffee because he had pretty good touch right there. A nice chip shot. He didn't like it, but it was a nice one.
and that birdie got him to four under. Now on the par four eight from inside 12 feet for birdie. And giving himself some really good opportunities for birdie today. Seems a pretty easy round of golf, would make that from 12 feet. Now on the par four 12, his approach from 123 yards out. Yeah, right in the middle of the fairway here. This is always a tricky hole to get back to, but he takes this with just a sand wedge in there. Beautiful shot, spins it nicely, then high. Five feet, another birdie to six under. Now on the par four 13th, his birdie putt from 18 feet. A little outside the gimme range, but beautiful read, beautiful pace. Gets another one to drop. And that got him to seven under. Now on the par 5 15th, his approach from 275 yards. Well, we need to play if you're going to give putts that long, but this is a beautiful <laughs> looking shot here going right up over the trees. Teddy Scott going to take a run to the right to check it out. His caddy, guess what? Got him. It's close. Beautiful. He would two putt birdie and get to eight under, taking a look at his scorecard. Clean card for Scotty Scheffler, the Masters champ. Six under, 65 in round two at the RBC Heritage. So Scotty Scheffler seems to be shaking off any rust or any fatigue that might have come from uh, just a few days off from Major Championship Golf at the Masters Tournament. But speaking of Major Championship Golf, Nellie Korda is trying to do something this week that has done has been done very few times on the LPGA Tour. That is win five times in a row. Amanda, what is the thing that she's leaning on the most to help her get it done? Uh, what really stood out to me that she's leaning on is her par, her par fives. Um, she was four under on her par fives today, six under uh, for the last two rounds. She's has incredible length. She's also now she even saying feels very accurate off of the tee, which is then making it much easier uh, for those par fives to take advantage of her length. And we saw that she's right now on tour uh, leads and strokes gain from tee to green. And when she was with her long irons, with her three wood today on 13, it was just really impressive to watch. Uh, very much in control of her iron shots, her distance control. But like she said, even in her interview, when she's hitting it well off the tee, it just makes everything just so much easier. And when she's getting to those par five, she's really capitalizing. And that's going to be huge this weekend, uh, knowing that that's really in her strength and that she has four par fives that she really can birdie all four of them like she did today. Well, we talk about the zone. Obviously, Nellie's in it, Scotty's in it. The zone to me is the definition is when you make your decisions, they're clear. Uh, and you always get the right yardages in there. And, and, and it seems to be a little bit easier, I guess, because things are clear. Decision making is a lot easier. But uh, for Scotty Scheffler, I mean, the short game's phenomenal. Uh, and I think his strokes game putting today and for the week has been a little bit better. An improvement from yesterday to today. So that was a big improvement. But, you know, I, I think it's interesting when you win Augusta and now you come down here, it's usually kind of a everybody's decompressing it's kind of a vacation but he didn't come in here a vacation he came down here trying to win the golf tournament down here to compete he's got himself up there it's a great leaderboard he's hit the ball pretty well off the tee he's only missed five fairways and we know what he does when he gets the ball and play with the iron so if he can continue that uh, I mean he's going to be a force we know what he does when he gets in contention he's not afraid of the moment it's really been fun to watch uh, but both of those players are in the zone. We talk about it. It's been really fun to watch both of them try to accomplish different things. Uh, Nellie's played some great golf. We'll see if she can get five in a row because that's a, that's a great feat for sure. I can't imagine what it's like for the rest of the field, the intimidation factor to yeah. see those two names at the top of the leaderboard so consistently. And you can see them tomorrow on a very exciting day of golf.